I'm very excited to record this Friday, uh, last day of the week. Really excited. I still have to work tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go on a helicopter ride. I'm gonna take Corey with me so you can see what dad does. And um, that's pretty much it. We're getting dressed right now. Um, I got some labs I gotta do, so I gotta go to the hospital this morning, um, get some shots, and uh, you guys can come with me. And I have a, uh, <laughs> I have a session today. I have a therapy session today. I guess you guys can come to that too. So let's go Friday. Probably sounds weird, but I brought Corey to work with me yesterday. Just, I don't know, so he'd be proud of me so he can see what dad does. So, you know, he was like, awesome. And, uh, you know, I said it, this is going to be his last time to be able to work, come to work with dad, you know what I'm saying, in the Army. My last year, I was talking to Zykea. I really want my kids to be here for my, my retirement. I know I'm a, I'm a boo-hoo on that one. I know I'm gonna be real, especially with my kids here, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real. Oh, this is the thing I'm going through today. I'll be shooting this ceremony, NCAA, NCO Academy. But I'll be over there later after um, I get this lab done. I'm headed to the clinic right now. Headed to the clinic right now. Clinic, shit take too long. actually in here uh, earlier this month. That's for the group on my end, man. Um, I'm just working on stuff for next week. I'll send you the... People's first center. Move this out for you. And I'll be also letting your first arm know so he makes sure he doesn't um, put on any uh, trauma duties or anything like that. To go. And, uh, but the most important thing today is that now we're going to dedicate another memorial great unit and really this is a memorial or a monument really is really a testament a physical manifestation of your service and those that came before you so thank you for coming and welcome welcome home to Fort Hood we will represent today specialist James C. Murray will come forward and place a wreath at our newly emplaced monument to honor those men that paid the ultimate sacrifice during the brigade's action during Operation Desert Storm I will read their names aloud as they place it. Staff Sergeant Tony R. Applegate, 366 Armor. Sergeant David R. Crumby, 141 Infantry. Specialist Manuel M. Davila, 141 Infantry. Specialist Anthony W. Kidd, one for one infantry. PFC David W. Kramer, one for one infantry. Corporal Jeffrey T. Middleton, one for one infantry. Specialist James C. Murray, one for one infantry. Ro uh, Private Robert D. Talley, one for one infantry. Group, present, come on. Order. 
Twitter. Huh. All right, so the shoot is over. Uh, this is what I do to speed up the process. I have my personal computer and I have the work one. Um, I put one of the pictures. This is what I use primarily for my photos. Is my Nikon, which is the personal uh, camera as well. I put that on here and I process the, the pictures. And then I take this and I do the video with that one. So I'm actually doing both of them at the same time. A little bit multitask, you know what I'm saying? And it makes it like go faster instead of having to do just editing on one or just a photographs on, on one. So for me, it's easier with two computers, especially when they want a fast turnaround, like like the shoot was today, you know what I'm saying? They want it up on the internet, on Facebook or Instagram so they can put it up tomorrow. All right, we are at the court, getting our dribble on. At the school youngster over here. Might grab a pickup game, because I'm good like that. E hey, even at 39, almost 40, still still doing them. I don't even run, man. I don't do no cardio, nothing. I try to do a layup, and my, my, my legs was like, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. I said, I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know if anybody's some real players. Uh, hey, look at me. Y'all know y'all ain't seen in the game. Corey hit two three pointers. He all right, he knows. Not a kid that ain't know every goddamn thing. We can't dribble. So I'm put it over here. Got to play. I'm hurting boy. There you go. Oh. Move, we gotta move. There you go, move it, there you go. Get your hands up. There you go, hands up. Hands. Get open. Oh, nice, nice. Get your hand, come on. 
Hey man, so I wasn't gonna play again. You should have brought some more. I really do support that you did. Um, I won't go play no more, but it's my last one. I need this full court. So it's Saturday. I'm leaking, bro. I've been all night. My shit's just been running. I know I'm gonna have that crusty shit. Oh yeah, I can already see it. Mm. I went and played basketball yesterday, and uh, it just it would not stop. It would not. Oh no, I didn't get no Steve Corey over there. He about to go with us. So you can see what I do. And then uh, we we'll batted by a couple of hours, and then we we'll come on back. And then chill and then uh tomorrow i'll probably head down to san antonio so my dad and my sisters and moms can see him and everything let's go we gotta go i took some uh some sinus pills mucinex you're gonna see if it works so far it's okay i don't want to be dripping all day but you can already see the irritation it was it was rough last night corey's here we're waiting for our uh our ride and then we're gonna hop on there. Uh, we're going to, you guys just see, don't worry about it, it'll be cool. We're gonna be driving through the, the wasteland of the fire that was out there. So the event is over, it was pretty awesome. Corey got to meet the two-star general. That was pretty awesome. They had like nice conversation. So that's he had to go get his tripod. Okay. So if you can just try to wait up there for him to come back, because okay. then you guys don't need to leave the phone. Anyway, uh Corey got to meet the two-star general, Major General Gillen. I say it right? Gillen? Yeah. Gillen? Yeah. 
Yeah, so um, that was pretty cool. They had like a 10 minute conversation. Uh, they was amazed how big he was. They thought he was gonna say 17, he was like 12. Um, but uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. Hopefully he remembers this stuff when he gets older and when, when he joins and everything, he can show his kids and you know, vice versa. I told you, I remember my, like, when I was his age, my dad used to bring me down to the motor pool and stuff like that. So it's it pretty cool to share that and pass it down. There's the bear, and we're staying over there. That's fantastic. Tonight might be an epic night.